Tierney. Good turn by him. And now David Wotherspoon with the right foot. Wonderful strike from the Scotland under-21 midfielder. Hibs are ahead. It's taken them 27 minutes. And it was a goal of real quality. Good passing move in the midfield. Doyle to Kearney. And then Wotherspoon unleashed. And it was a fantastic finish from the youngster. His third in his last five games. And didn't he enjoy it? And now over the top looking for Lee Griffiths. Cuts across his man. Round the goalkeeper and down he goes. Penalty, says Stevie O'Reilly. Randolph with the challenge on Griffiths. There's certainly contact, but enough for a penalty. Stevie O'Reilly says yes. Lee Griffiths against the goalkeeper once again, and he tucks it away. Hibbs lead by two goals to nil. And it's Lee Griffiths from the penalty spot. Kearney again. Now Wotherspoon. Oh, and this time Wotherspoon goes down. It's another penalty. Steve O'Reilly points to the spot. And Motherwell have a right to be aggrieved once again. The challenge from Hamill was well outside the penalty area. Griffiths. Will he pick the same spot that worked for him? He certainly does. Two penalties in the space of 10 minutes from Lee Griffiths. And the SPL's top goal scorer puts a Bernie in three up here at Fur Park. For David Wotherspoon now, looking to drive at Hamill once again. It's still Wotherspoon, still going, squares it for Handling. And that rounds off a perfect evening for Ibernian. Danny Handling, the 18-year-old, gets his first goal. And Ibernian win by four goals to nil. Back it comes to Rab Douglas. He's a little loose with his kick out. Now Ryan Fraser stays on his feet, finds Niall McGinn. And his form continues. Niall McGinn puts Aberdeen one up against Dundee. Rob Douglas with the mistake from the kick out. Fraser did well. Well left by Hughes. And Niall McGinn scores for the fifth straight SPL game. Johnny Hayes with the left foot. Oh, it takes a touch and it goes past Rob Douglas. And Aberdeen are two up. Here's Willow Flood. Knocked back in. And in went Stephen Thompson. It was a handball. A penalty kick against Stephen Thompson. And what on earth was he thinking here? Gunning wins the header. And in goes Thompson with the arm. And it will be Johnny Russell. Left footed and it sneaks in at the post. Sampson got a touch on it. But it's Russell who hasn't scored in the league since the second week of the season. And now to the captain, Marius Saliukas. He scored three of Hart's last five goals. All of them have come from defenders. He's now looking to turn provider for Novikovas. And it finds the corner of the net. And Hearts are in front five minutes before the break. A delightful defence splitting ball from Zaliukas. And there was Novikovas to score his third goal of the season. Here's Rocco Quinn now. Still going, the former Celtic midfielder. Britain. And there's Vigers. It's just wide, but a penalty's been awarded by Craig Charleston. It's been given for the challenge by Webster at the front post on Kettlewell. And it's Richard Britton 
who scored a penalty against Dundee, and he levels things up here at Tynecastle. Now Vigers, who's in fine form himself, three goals in his last three games. It's Kettlewell, Hearts back off him, allow him to shoot, and Ross County lead at Tynecastle. Great strike by Stuart Kettlewell, who scored his first SPL goal a week ago against Hibbs. He's now got his second, and he was invited to do so by Granger and Zaliukas, and he finds the bottom corner. It's very much last chance saloon here, deep into stoppage time. Sutton on the turn! And Hearts have nicked a point right at the death against Ross County. That's well won by Meekings. Andrew Shinney. Draper, he's done that nicely for Billy Mackay, who drills his volley low and into the back of the net, and Inverness have the lead with just 17 minutes remaining. Billy Mackay, who scored a double against Dundee last week, he's now got his fifth goal of the season. Manus, the option is to go long, and there's David Robertson! Free in the box, and with the very last kick of the game, St Johnson have nicked a point, and it's David Robertson in dramatic circumstances. Here's Adam Matthews into Commons. Mulgrew back to Matthews. Well, that's not the best ball back to Ambrose, and now here's Killian Sheridan. One on one with Forster, he's round the goalkeeper and Killian Sheridan just before half time puts Kilmarnock one up. The former Celtic striker who actually scored in this fixture for Celtic back in 2008 has put his new club, Kilmarnock, one up at Celtic Park. It's a goal for Kilmarnock. Adam Matthews well. with a Sheridan. shocking pass. F.A. Ambrose wasn't strong enough in the challenge and didn't Killian Sheridan keep his cool for his fifth goal in a Kilmarnock jersey? It's Rory McKenzie up against Izagiri and he goes by the Honduran and that goes down under the challenge from Izagiri and Crawford Allen points to the spot. Good skills from McKenzie. He twists and turns, and he was just clipped by Izagiri. And it will be Liam Kelly. Oh, good penalty. Driven hard and low by the Kilmarnock midfielder. 